Um, well, I do a variety of things. Um, I'm what you might call a stunt exhibitionist. So both of my works, Rosa Does Joan, an early work in 1992, and also on the work of our America's Next Great Artist, um, which was a, a mainstream television show on Bravo, competition show this last year, I would consider them both interventionist works to some degree. Today, an eye-opening look at voyeurs. Those are people who get their sexual kicks by watching others, and the others who enjoy being watched. I was actually invited on by mistake. I was working at a sex toy cooperative, women-owned sex toy cooperative in San Francisco, and I had a co-worker named Carol Queen who was a professional exhibitionist, and the Joan River show was called her to see if she would go on the show. They were having a show about voyeurs and exhibitionism. And she couldn't do it, but she knew I was a performance artist, so she asked me if I wanted to go. Of course, I said yes. My next guest is a voyeur's dream. I had this amazing brush with a kind of um, mainstream television in that I, uh, this was, you know, before reality shows and, and actually before a lot of, I guess, the kind of, you know, gender salad tossing that went on in, in, uh, in mainstream American television thereafter. But so, I, you know, the producer calls and he says, how do you know you're an exhibitionist? And, you know, of course I was, I was playing a role and I said, well, if I'm, if I'm on a public bus and I'm squeezing my legs together, if I know someone's looking at my ass, I can have an organ orgasm. And they just fell for it. You know, they really went for it. They don't really even care if you're telling the truth. They just want a good story, right? So I told them that I that I was exhibitionist, but I dressed for it, and that my name was Rosa when I dressed for exhibitionism. She is a woman who likes to flaunt her body. Please welcome Rosa. And so um, I went on the television the night before I'd stayed up with friends trying to determine what the kind of intervention was going to be. And, um, you know, they they get all our questions beforehand. And so um, Joan was a little bit blindsided because she um, asked me about meeting uh, a fellow exhibitionist. And I said, oh, yes, I met a fellow exhibitionist quite by mistake, a really uh, wonderful multi-gendered ambisexual at an aquarium. And, you know, she didn't know I was going to say that. And so she looked at me and she said, An aquarium? <laughs> Boo -boo, shush. Shush. Oh, God, now do I have to tell that whole story again? <laughs> I yeah. once met a, a fellow exhibitionist, quite by mistake, a really wonderful um, um, multi-gendered ambisexual person at an aquarium. An aquarium? Yeah. Uh, she walked over to the aquarium and unzipped her pants and began doing the same this thing. This woman that you met? Yes. All right. This, this so man, she, this woman. Yes. All right. This per, what, this was it a man or what? <laughs> when they unzipped their pants, what did we see? And you know, at the time I just thought, well, this is a really small intervention, but it's sort of, it's like, you know, putting something out, just putting something out to millions of people, a multi-gendered ambisexual. What does that mean? What does that mean, everybody? It wasn't. It was a term we made up. It wasn't. It wasn't any official, you know, LGBTQG term or anything. It was just a term we we had made up. So that was sort of my my first taste of it uh, of intervention on television. And then, of course, last year um, I engaged with this other sh with this other show called um, A Work of Art: America's Next Great Artist. Now, 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 now. Someone as an intervention as well because you know mainstream audiences are really thinking about art more like Renaissance painting and sculpture. I'm very vulgar and mostly I got kicked off that show because I ended up mixing paint until they were brown and I did a piece of work that looked scatological. My strategy was basically to do something every week that I didn't know how to do and I wanted to create a process so people could see you can have an idea you can have a process, and at the end of it, you'll have an artwork. So that was my main intervention and, and my really modest goals of going on to that show. Stronger, better, newer, faster me. 